The Crimson Sun, Kepler 186, a malevolent eye in the bruised twilight sky, cast long skeletal shadows across the alien landscape. Its light, a weak, anemic imitation of soul's warmth, filtered through the towering, bioluminescent fungi that dominated the horizon. These weren't mere plants. They were colossal, pulsating monoliths, each a living testament to the alien strangeness of Kepler 186. Their caps, the size of small cars, glowed with an ethereal violet luminescence, casting the forest floor in an unsettling, shifting light that played tricks on the eyes. The air thick and heavy with the scent of damp earth and an unfamiliar, cloying sweetness hung stagnant, pregnant with the secrets of this alien world. Ilara Vance, her face smudged with phosphorescent spores, knelt before one of these fungal behemoths. At twenty-eight, her face, weathered by years of harsh sunlight and relentless toil, was a roadmap of determination etched against the backdrop of a resilient spirit. Her eyes, the color of a stormy sea, held a flicker of relentless curiosity, a beacon burning bright against the encroaching darkness of their isolation. Her fingers, stained a deep ochre from the alien soil, gently traced the intricate patterns etched into the smooth, cool surface of the fungus's cap. The rhythmic pulse of the fungus, a subtle vibration beneath her fingertips, resonated deep within her chest, a silent heartbeat mirroring the frantic rhythm of her own heart. Her data pad, its screen a pale island of light in the oppressive gloom, displayed a cascade of complex waveforms, a symphony of data meticulously gathered over weeks of painstaking research. This wasn't just a plant. It was a transmitter, a living radio antenna broadcasting a signal of unknown origin and purpose. The signal, faint and elusive, held the potential to shatter their suffocating isolation, to reconnect them to Earth, to break the agonizing silence that had stretched across the like years. New Eden, their colony, clung precariously to life on the edge of habitability. Three years ago, a solar flare, a catastrophic eruption from Kepler 186 unstable surface, had crippled their primary communication array. The flare had not only severed their lifeline to Earth, but had also scorched the hope from the hearts of many. The colony, a collection of tired souls clinging to a tenuous existence, was slowly succumbing to the weight of despair. Rations were dwindling, hope was a flickering candle in the encroaching darkness, and the metallic tang of recycled air, perpetually thin and stale, was a constant reminder of their desperate predicament. The hydroponics bays hummed a mournful tune, their flickering lights casting long, wavering shadows across the tired faces of the colonists. Their once vibrant community, slowly withering under the oppressive weight of their isolation, was on the brink of collapse. But tonight, tonight was different. Tonight, the rhythmic pulse of the alien fungus resonated with a new urgency, a new promise. Tonight, a single tenacious spark of hope refused to be extinguished. Tonight, Ilara felt the weight of their collective hope pressing down on her, a responsibility as immense and unforgiving as the alien landscape itself. The whispers of the fungi promised something more something beyond their desperate struggle for survival, a chance for redemption, a pathway back to the warmth of humanity, a lifeline stretching across the unforgiving chasm of space. The silent promise of connection pulsed in the air, a heartbeat in the darkness, a testament to the enduring power of the human spirit. The rhythmic pulsing of the giant fungi wasn't a biological quirk, it was a signal, a faint, almost imperceptible radio emission emanating from deep within the fungal core, a whisper across the vastness of space. Ilara, fueled by a potent cocktail of adrenaline and obsession, spent days and nights in her makeshift laboratory, a cramped, cluttered space within the colony's decaying research facility. The air hung thick with the metallic tang of recycled air and the pungent aroma of alien flora a pungent counterpoint to the sterile scent of her scientific equipment. Her data pad, its screen flickering intermittently, displayed a cascade of complex waveforms, 
a visual representation of the alien signal's intricate dance. Each pulse, each subtle variation in frequency, was a piece of a puzzle, a cryptic message from an unknown sender. The data spilled from her data pad onto countless sheets of recycled paper. A blizzard of numbers and graphs meticulously analyzed, cross-referenced, and re-examined under the pale glow of her laboratory lamps. Sleep was a luxury she could ill afford. The silence of the laboratory, broken only by the hum of her equipment and the rhythmic pulse of the alien signal, was a stark contrast to the growing turmoil within the colony. New Eden, once a beacon of hope, was succumbing to the relentless erosion of despair. The hydroponic bays, their lights flickering erratically, struggled to sustain the colony's dwindling food supply. The recycled air, thin and stale, tasted of desperation. The once vibrant community, once a bastion of shared purpose, was fracturing under the strain of isolation and dwindling resources. The whispers of dissent, once muted, were growing louder, echoing the rising anxieties that threatened to engulf the colony. The council, a hastily assembled group of weary colonists, debated endlessly, their voices rising in a cacophony of conflicting opinions. Some, fueled by desperation, clamored for reckless measures, advocating for the construction of a new, powerful transmitter, regardless of the cost or the depletion of already scarce resources. Others, clinging to the remnants of pragmatic wisdom, argued for conservation, for focusing on their immediate survival, for putting aside the elusive dream of contacting Earth. The air in the council meetings hung thick with the scent of fear and uncertainty, a palpable tension that threatened to tear the already fractured community apart. Ilara, isolated in her laboratory, remained oblivious to the growing unrest. The alien signal, its intricate dance a captivating siren song, held her captive, pulling her deeper into its enigmatic embrace. Each new discovery, each decoded piece of the puzzle, fueled her obsession, driving her further into the heart of the mystery. She was a solitary explorer charting uncharted territory, guided not by stars or maps, but by the haunting, rhythmic pulse of an alien intelligence. Unaware that the fate of her colony was inextricably linked to the secrets hidden within the depths of the bioluminescent fungi. The intricate dance of the signal was a mirror to the turbulent dance of emotions within the colony. A fragile ecosystem threatened by both internal conflicts and the unrelenting pressure of their isolation. The weight of their hope, their survival, rested on the fragile shoulders of a woman consumed by an alien mystery. The air in the council chamber hung thick with the scent of recycled air and unspoken anxieties. The flickering fluorescent lights cast long, skeletal shadows across the worn faces of the colonists, their expressions a mixture of weariness, apprehension, and a desperate clinging to hope. Ilara Vance, her face pale with exhaustion, but her eyes blazing with a fierce determination, stood before them, a lone figure silhouetted against the flickering lights, a solitary beacon of scientific conviction in a sea of growing despair. She projected the complex waveforms of the alien signal onto the cracked screen at the head of the chamber. The intricate dance of the signal, its peaks and troughs, its subtle shifts in frequency, mesmerized the assembled colonists. It was a language they didn't understand, yet its enigmatic complexity held a strange allure, a captivating testament to the vast unknown that lay beyond their isolated world. This isn't just a biological anomaly. Ilara's voice, though weary, carried an unshakable conviction, cutting through the hushed silence of the chamber. This is a signal, a communication, however rudimentary, from a source we don't understand. A murmur rippled through the room, a wave of skepticism and hesitant wonder. Jax, the colony's pragmatic security chief, a man whose face bore the harsh etchings of years spent battling the unforgiving elements of Kepler 186F, leaned forward, his gaze sharp and questioning. And what does this signal mean, Dr. Vance? He asked, his voice a low rumble that resonated through the chamber. Does it mean help is on its way? Or is this just another cruel trick of this alien world? 
Ilara hesitated, a flicker of doubt crossing her face. The truth was, she didn't know. Her analysis suggested the signal possessed a structure far too complex to be a mere natural phenomenon. It was a deliberate transmission, a carefully crafted message from an unknown source. But the meaning remained elusive, a cryptic riddle hidden within the intricate dance of waveforms. I don't know what the signal means, she admitted, her voice quiet but firm. But I do know that it's strong enough, potentially, to reach Earth. With the right equipment, we could amplify the signal, create a powerful broadcast, a message strong enough to break through the silence. The mention of equipment ignited a new wave of discussion. The colony's resources were stretched thin, their stores dwindling daily. To build a powerful transmitter would require a significant investment, an expenditure they could barely afford. The room erupted in a cacophony of voices, a clash of desperate hopes and pragmatic concerns. Lena, the colony's engineer, a woman whose skill in jury-rigging solutions was legendary, spoke up, her voice cautiously optimistic. We could repurpose components from the damaged comm array. It's a long shot, but... Others countered with concerns about the ecological impact of such a venture. The fungi, the source of their potential salvation, played a vital, yet still mysterious, role in the planet's delicate ecosystem. Harvesting the fungi's energy, even cautiously, could potentially disrupt the balance of their alien world, jeopardizing their already precarious existence. The room became a battleground of conflicting priorities, a microcosm of the larger conflict raging within the colony, the desperate yearning for connection versus the immediate need for survival. The fate of New Eden, it seemed, hung precariously in the balance, suspended between the tantalizing promise of communication and the chilling reality of their dwindling resources. The weight of their decisions, heavy and momentous, settled upon them, a silent burden they would bear alone, under the pale, uncertain light of their alien world. Despite the Council's fractured opinions, Elara pressed forward. Waiting for a unanimous decision was a luxury they couldn't afford. The colony's dwindling resources, their rapidly depleting food stores, the ever-present threat of ecological collapse. These were not abstract concepts. They were the harsh realities of their existence. She assembled a small, hand-picked team, individuals whose skills and resilience were as crucial as their unwavering dedication. Jax, the colony's pragmatic security chief, a man whose weathered face reflected years spent battling the unforgiving elements of Kepler-186F was included not only for his tactical acumen, but also for his ability to keep the team grounded in the harsh realities of their situation. His pragmatism served as a counterpoint to Ilara's idealism, a necessary balance in their desperate undertaking. Lena, the colony's ingenious engineer, a woman whose nimble fingers could coax life from salvaged scraps of metal and broken wires, brought her uncanny ability to create something from nothing, her expertise in jury-rigging solutions crucial to their mission's success, and Ben, a quiet but brilliant physicist, whose expertise lay in long-range communications, provided the theoretical framework and the critical calculations needed to amplify and transmit the signal. Their workspace was a chaotic symphony of salvaged components, discarded technology, and hastily assembled equipment, a testament to human ingenuity and desperation. The air hung thick with the smell of ozone, bugged wires, and the acrid tang of recycled air. The rhythmic pulse of the alien signal, now amplified and analyzed, resonated through the room, a hypnotic backdrop to their tireless efforts. Each component, each wire soldered, each equation solved, was a step closer to their audacious goal, to bridge the seemingly unbridgeable chasm of interstellar space. Ilara, with her years of studying the planet's unique flora, developed a biocompatible harvesting method for the fungi. It was a delicate dance between science and desperation, a carefully choreographed procedure that aimed to minimize environmental damage while maximizing energy extraction. Modified drones, equipped with specialized tools, meticulously collected samples of the bioluminescent fungi, 
their movements precise and deliberate. They worked with a quiet intensity, their every move measured and purposeful, their shared goal a silent yet powerful bond that held them together. The drones moved through the forest like silent phantoms, their movements guided by Ilara's meticulous calculations, their harvesting a testament of a deep respect for the Aeon ecosystem. Lena, meanwhile, channeled her boundless ingenuity into repurposing salvaged components from the damaged communication array, creating a makeshift amplifier that amplified the fungi's signal exponentially. Her hands, calloused and stained with oil, moved with incredible speed and precision, transforming scrap metal and discarded circuits into a functional piece of technology, defying the odds and surpassing all expectations. Ben, the quiet observer, crunched numbers, calculating trajectories, refining algorithms, ensuring the signal would reach its intended destination. A tiny beacon of hope piercing through the immensity of space. He worked tirelessly, his mind a whirlwind of complex equations and probabilities, a silent guardian of their communication link. His calculations were more than just science. They were prayers whispered into the cosmos. They worked tirelessly, the nights merging seamlessly into days, their bodies fueled by adrenaline, caffeine, and the shared conviction that their audacious gamble was worth taking. The laboratory became a crucible of ingenuity, their relentless efforts a powerful testament to the resilience and ingenuity of the human spirit. The hum of the makeshift equipment, the rhythmic pulse of the alien signal, and the shared tension within the room formed a silent symphony, a testament to the shared dreams, hopes, and fears of a desperate band of explorers fighting to overcome the crushing weight of isolation. Their every action was a bet against insurmountable odds, a bet on the enduring power of hope, a bet on humanity's capacity to triumph even in the face of overwhelming adversity. As their efforts progressed, a chilling realization dawned upon them, the ecological cost of their ambition. The area surrounding their harvesting operation showed signs of distress. The vibrant bioluminescence that had once painted the forest in ethereal hues was dimming, replaced by a sickly, yellowish glow. The once thriving fungal network, the source of their potential salvation, was withering, its delicate balance disrupted by their intervention. Ilara, despite her meticulous planning, felt a cold wave of dread wash over her. Her carefully calibrated calculations, her attempts to minimize environmental impact, seemed to have failed. The delicate ecosystem, a complex tapestry of interdependent life forms, was proving far more fragile than she had anticipated. The vibrant heart of their alien world was slowly fading, a stark reminder of the unforeseen consequences of their actions. This discovery deepened the already existing fissures within the colony. Accusations, once whispered in hushed tones, now echoed through the communal spaces, sharpening the divisions within the once united community. Ilara, once a beacon of hope, now found herself a target of simmering resentment. The weight of responsibility pressed down upon her, crushing her spirit. She was the scientist who had discovered the signal, the architect of their audacious plan, and now, seemingly, the harbinger of their potential doom. Jax, though initially supportive, now wrestled with doubts. His pragmatic nature clashed with Elara's unwavering idealism. He saw the decaying ecosystem, the dwindling resources, the growing unrest within the colony, and the chilling possibility that their audacious gamble might have been a fatal mistake. The weight of his responsibility as security chief, as protector of the community, pressed down upon him forcing him to question the wisdom of their actions. Lena, the ingenious engineer, whose unwavering belief in Ilara had driven her relentlessly forward, now faced a crisis of faith. The decaying forest, the visible manifestation of their ecological blunder, challenged her belief in their ability to control the alien environment. She found herself caught between her loyalty to Ilara and the overwhelming evidence of their failure. The hum of her machinery, once a reassuring soundtrack to their efforts, now sounded like a discordant note in the symphony of their impending doom. Ben, the quiet physicist, remained stoic, 
his focus unwavering, his calculations were precise, his confidence unyielding. He believed in the potential of their communication project, viewing the ecological concerns as a necessary sacrifice, a calculated risk they had to take in order to secure their survival. But even his unshakable faith was beginning to crack under the weight of the increasingly desperate situation. The signal, once a beacon of hope, now felt like a cruel reminder of the high price they might have to pay for their audacity. Ilara, consumed by a profound sense of guilt, found herself increasingly isolated. The whispers of doubt, once confined to the margins of the community, now echoed through the corridors of their decaying facility, each echo chipping away at her confidence, eroding her belief in their success. The vibrant, pulsating fungi, once the embodiment of their hopes, were slowly dying, their decline a chilling reflection of the colony's own precarious situation. Hope, once a blazing fire, dwindled to a flickering ember, threatened by the winds of doubt and the looming specter of failure. The weight of their collective fate pressed down on Ilara's shoulders, a crushing burden that threatened to extinguish the last embers of her unwavering determination. The makeshift antenna, a Frankensteinian assemblage of salvaged components and jury-rigged technology, stood tall against the alien landscape, a defiant monument to human ingenuity and desperation. It was a testament to the unwavering spirit of New Eden, a beacon of hope piercing the oppressive gloom of their isolation. Underneath the perpetual twilight of Kepler-186, the antenna pulsed with a faint, rhythmic glow, its bioluminescent components intertwined with the salvaged technology, a strange fusion of alien and human creation. Elara, Jax, Lena, and Ben huddled around the console, their faces illuminated by the flickering screens, their breaths held captive in their chests. The air crackled with anticipation, a palpable tension that hung heavier than the recycled air. Years of isolation, of dwindling resources, of relentless struggle, had culminated in this moment, a desperate gamble on the edge of oblivion. The console, a chaotic mess of wires, blinking lights, and half-melted circuit boards, hummed with barely contained energy. Lena, her fingers dancing across the control panel, ran a final diagnostic check, her movements precise and practiced. Her face, usually alight with confident determination, all the strain of countless sleepless nights, her eyes reflecting the flickering light of the console. Jax, his hand resting on the emergency shutdown switch, stood guard, his gaze sweeping across the alien landscape, vigilant against any unforeseen threat. His weathered face, etched with the lines of hardship and responsibility, reflected the gravity of the moment. The weight of the colony's survival rested on his shoulders, a burden that weighed as heavily as the alien atmosphere. Ben, hunched over his console, monitored the signal, his eyes glued to the cascading waveforms, his mind a whirlwind of complex calculations. The amplified signal, the culmination of their efforts, pulsed on his screen, a digital heartbeat echoing the anxieties of the moment. His quiet demeanor hid a fierce determination, an unwavering belief in the power of their communication, a belief in humanity's ability to overcome even the most daunting of odds. Ilara, her eyes fixed on the console, felt a torrent of emotions surge within her, fear, hope, excitement, and an overwhelming sense of responsibility. The weight of the colony's fate rested upon her shoulders, a burden that had grown heavier with every passing day. This was not just a scientific experiment. It was a desperate plea for survival, a lifeline thrown into the vast darkness of space. Lena initiated the transmission. The data, a concise summary of their plight, their location, their tenacious hope, surged through the antenna, a tiny spark of defiance against the overwhelming immensity of the cosmos. The signal, amplified by the bioluminescent fungi, pulsed across the light years, a fragile whisper carrying the hopes and dreams of a desperate colony. Silence followed. A tense, suffocating silence broken only by the rhythmic pulse of the antenna and the ragged breaths of the assembled team. 
They waited, suspended in a moment between hope and despair, their hearts pounding a frantic rhythm against the silence. The success of their transmission, their fragile lifeline across the vast expanse of space, was a victory bittersweet and uncertain. But it was a victory nonetheless, a testament to human resilience, a testament to the enduring power of hope amidst the unrelenting darkness of the unknown. The question remained, would anyone hear their plea? The answer lay suspended in the silent vastness of space, a question that would haunt them, a silent burden echoing the anxieties that threatened to engulf their fragile community. The signal, a tiny spark of human defiance, was now adrift in the cosmic sea, its fate intertwined with their own. The silence that followed the transmission was a physical entity, a suffocating blanket that smothered the room, pressing down on the four assembled scientists with the weight of unspoken anxieties. The rhythmic pulse of the modified antenna, once a source of hope, now felt like a mocking reminder of their audacious gamble. Had their desperate plea even pierced the cosmic veil? Across the light years, an unfathomable gulf of space separated them from any possible response. The waiting they knew would be measured not in days or weeks, but in agonizing years. Elara stared at the blank screen, her mind a maelstrom of conflicting emotions. The initial elation had quickly curdled into a gnawing uncertainty, a chilling premonition of failure. The weight of their collective fate pressed down upon her shoulders, a burden that had grown exponentially heavier with the passing of each silent second. The faint hum of the antenna, a counterpoint to the oppressive silence, served only to amplify her internal turmoil. Jax, his gaze sweeping across the desolate landscape, felt the tension tightening around him like a physical vice. His pragmatism, the bedrock of his leadership, was challenged by the uncertainty of their situation. He had initially supported Ilara's initiative, viewing it as their last desperate gamble, but the silence was testing the limits of his patience, threatening to unravel his carefully constructed composure. Lena, her fingers nervously tracing the contours of the console's control panel, fought back a wave of self-doubt. Her ingenuity, her boundless creativity, had brought them this far but the silence was a stark reminder of the limitations of human technology, the humbling reality of the vast, unforgiving cosmos. Ben, usually stoic and composed, felt a tremor of anxiety ripple through his tightly controlled demeanor. His precise calculations, his meticulous analysis, were now rendered meaningless, irrelevant in the face of the overwhelming silence. His confidence, once unwavering, faltered under the oppressive weight of their collective uncertainty. Outside the laboratory, the colony teetered on the precipice of despair. The initial wave of euphoria, sparked by the successful transmission, had dissipated like morning mist. The realization of their ecological blunder cast a pall over the community. The once vibrant bioluminescent forest, the source of both their wonder and their potential salvation, was visibly fading its ethereal glow replaced by a sickly yellowish tinge. The air, once fragrant with the sweet scent of the alien flora, now carried a faint, acrid undertone, a stark reminder of the environmental damage they had wrought. The successful transmission, once a beacon of hope, had become a bitter pill. It was a victory tinged with guilt, a testament to human ingenuity overshadowed by the potential consequences of their actions. The colony's precarious balance, already threatened by isolation and dwindling resources, now faced the added pressure of ecological collapse. The once unified community, bound by the shared goal of contacting Earth, was fracturing under the weight of their shared anxieties. Accusations flew, doubts festered, and the fragile thread of hope frayed under the relentless pressure of their uncertain future. The silence that followed the transmission was not just an absence of sound. It was a chilling testament to their vulnerability, a profound reminder of their isolation, a suffocating blanket of despair that threatened to engulf them all. The weight of their choices, their hopes, and their fears hung heavy in the air, a silent, suffocating burden that they must bear alone, amidst the haunting silence of their alien world. The ecological damage, once a subtle undercurrent of anxiety,
had now become a raging torrent, threatening to overwhelm the fragile community of New Eden. The once vibrant bioluminescent forest, the source of their wonder and their sustenance, was withering, its ethereal glow replaced by a sickly yellow pallor. The air, thick with the scent of decay and the metallic tang of recycled air, hung heavy with the weight of their collective failure. Ilara, once a beacon of hope, now found herself isolated, a pariah in her own community. The accusations, once whispered in hushed tones, now echoed through the communal spaces, transforming into a chorus of blame and resentment. She had been the architect of their audacious plan, the one who had initiated their desperate gamble, and now, it seemed, the harbinger of their impending doom. The weight of responsibility, once a burden she had borne with quiet determination, had now grown into an unbearable weight, threatening to crush her spirit. Jax, torn between his loyalty to Ilara and his responsibility to the colony, found himself caught in a painful crossfire. His pragmatic nature, once a source of strength, now felt like a crippling weakness, forcing him to confront the harsh realities of their failure. He walked the corridors of the colony, a silent observer of the growing unrest, his gaze reflecting the weight of his decisions. The security detail, once a symbol of order and stability, was now strained, their focus shifting from external threats to the simmering tensions within the community. The once unified ranks were now fractured, their shared purpose replaced by suspicion and resentment. Lena, her boundless ingenuity now channeled into desperate attempts to mitigate the ecological damage, worked tirelessly, her hands stained with alien soil and frustration. Her efforts, though valiant, seemed futile, her attempts to repair the damaged ecosystem akin to patching a sinking ship with increasingly inadequate resources. The hum of her machinery, once a reassuring soundtrack to their progress, now sounded like a discordant note, a painful reminder of their failure. Ben, the quiet physicist, clung to his unwavering belief in the potential of their communication project, viewing the ecological damage as a necessary sacrifice, a calculated risk they had to take in order to secure their survival. His scientific detachment, however, provided little solace against the mounting wave of despair that was engulfing the community. His calculations, once precise and reassuring, were now overshadowed by the harsh reality of their situation. The council meetings became chaotic battlegrounds of conflicting opinions, their discussions less about finding solutions and more about assigning blame. Accusations of recklessness, of negligence, flew freely, sharpening the divisions that were tearing the colony apart. The once vibrant community, united by their shared hope, was disintegrating into a collection of factions, each driven by their own desperate needs and conflicting priorities, tearing the colony apart. The once vibrant community, united by their shared hope, was disintegrating into a collection of factions, each driven by their own desperate needs and conflicting priorities. Ilara, isolated in her own private torment, found solace only in her work. She retreated into her laboratory, poring over data, searching for a solution, a way to undo the damage she had inadvertently caused. The alien signal, once a beacon of hope, now felt like a cruel reminder of her failure. The rhythmic pulse of the fungi, once a source of excitement and fascination, now felt like a morbid heartbeat, a haunting echo of their impending doom. The weight of her guilt, a crushing burden, threatened to suffocate her, to extinguish the last embers of her determination. The fragile ecosystem of New Eden, mirroring the fragile state of the colony itself, was withering, a chilling testament to their ambition, their failure, and the unforgiving nature of their alien world. Months bleed into a year. The silence from Earth remained unbroken, a chilling testament to the vastness of space and the fragility of their hopes. The initial euphoria surrounding the transmission had long since dissipated, replaced by ignoring despair that permeated every aspect of life in New Eden. Hope, once a blazing fire, had dwindled to a flickering ember, threatened by the relentless winds of doubt and the encroaching darkness of their desperate situation. 
Elara, consumed by a profound sense of failure, found herself on the brink of despair. The ecological damage, once a subtle concern, had blossomed into a full-blown crisis, threatening the very foundation of their existence. The bioluminescent forest, once a source of both wonder and sustenance, was now a skeletal reminder of their reckless ambition, its once vibrant glow replaced by a sickly yellow pallor. The air, heavy with the scent of decay, was a constant reminder of their precarious situation. The colony, once a beacon of unity and shared purpose, had fractured into warring factions. The initial anger and resentment, once directed at Ilara, had broadened, engulfing the entire community. Accusations of negligence, of recklessness, flew freely, sharpening the divisions that threatened to tear the colony apart. The once vibrant community, bound by a shared dream, was now a battlefield of conflicting interests and desperate survival instincts. Jax, burdened by the weight of his responsibility, struggled to maintain order amidst the chaos. His security detail, once a symbol of strength and stability, was stretched thin, struggling to contain the simmering tensions that threatened to erupt into open conflict. His pragmatic approach, once a source of strength, now felt inadequate in the face of the overwhelming despair. Lena, her boundless ingenuity exhausted, worked tirelessly, desperately trying to mitigate the ecological damage. Her efforts, however, seemed futile. Her attempts to repair the broken ecosystem, a Sisyphean task, a constant struggle against the relentless forces of ecological collapse. The hum of her machinery, once a reassuring soundtrack, now sounded like a mournful dirge. Ben, the quiet physicist, remained stubbornly focused on their communication efforts, clinging to the belief that contact with Earth was their only hope of salvation. His unwavering faith, however, offered little comfort against the mounting wave of despair. His precise calculations his meticulously crafted algorithms seemed insignificant in the face of their increasingly desperate situation. The silence from Earth was a chilling testament to the vastness of space and the fragility of their hopes. Yet, amidst the darkness, a faint glimmer of hope remained. Ilara, though burdened by guilt and despair, found a renewed sense of purpose. The images of the children, their faces etched with a mixture of hope and fear, propelled her forward. She could not afford to give up. Driven by a fierce determination, she pored over her research, her mind a whirlwind of complex equations and scientific possibilities. She had to find a way to repair the damage, to mitigate the crisis, to ensure the survival of her community. Her efforts, her relentless search for a solution, became a new beacon of hope, a desperate plea for survival a silent promise whispered into the heart of the dying forest. The fate of New Eden rested on her shoulders, a crushing burden that she must bear alone, in the face of overwhelming despair and the chilling uncertainty of their future. The fight for survival, a relentless battle against the odds, had become a deeply personal quest, a testament to the enduring power of the human spirit amidst the bleak landscape of their alien world. A breakthrough arrived not as a sudden flash of inspiration, but as a slow dawning realization, a quiet whisper in the chaotic symphony of Ilara's research. Months of relentless work, fueled by guilt and a desperate yearning for redemption, finally yielded a glimmer of hope amidst the encroaching darkness. It wasn't a grand revelation, but a subtle shift in perspective, a new interpretation of previously overlooked data. While studying the decaying fungal network, Ilara had stumbled upon a previously ignored strain of bacteria, a microscopic organism thriving within the dying fungal hypha. Initial analysis revealed that this bacterium possessed an extraordinary ability. It could accelerate the regeneration of the damaged fungal network, stimulating the growth of new hypha and restoring the bioluminescent glow. It was a long shot, a desperate gamble but it offered a sliver of hope amidst the overwhelming despair. The discovery, however, was only the first step in a long and arduous journey. Cultivating and deploying the bacteria on a large scale would require immense effort and precise control. 
the delicate balance of the Aeon ecosystem was far more fragile than they had initially understood. Any misstep, any imbalance, could trigger irreversible damage, jeopardizing their already precarious situation. The news of Ilara's discovery spread like wildfire, igniting a spark of cautious optimism within the once fractured community. The shared struggle to cultivate and deploy the bacteria fostered a renewed sense of unity, a fragile but essential bond forged in the crucible of shared adversity. The common goal, the shared need for survival, transcended the past conflicts, bridging the deep chasms of resentment that had divided the colony. Jax, his pragmatism tempered by the urgency of their situation, offered the resources of his security detail to protect the delicate bacterial cultures, ensuring their safe transport and deployment across the damaged ecosystem. His once stern gaze now held a flicker of hope, reflecting the collective desire to rebuild their world. Lena, her ingenuity unleashed, dedicated her energies to developing efficient and effective methods for deploying the bacteria, creating specialized drones that could precisely inject the bacteria into the damaged fungal network. Her nimble fingers, once frustrated by their inability to repair the decaying ecosystem, now moved with renewed purpose, guided by a shared desire for redemption. The hum of her machinery, once a discordant note, now held a hopeful melody, a testament to their renewed determination. Ben, his scientific curiosity ignited by the unexpected discovery, focused on developing detailed models of the bacteria's interactions with the fungal network. His complex calculations, his meticulously crafted algorithms, were now dedicated to ensuring the success of their ambitious endeavor. His quiet demeanor, usually reserved, now held a cautious optimism, reflecting the renewed faith in their collective ability to overcome their challenges. The once desolate corridors of the colony pulsed with renewed energy. The shared struggle to save their dying world transformed the fractured community into a single, unified organism, each individual contributing their unique skills and talents to a common cause. The whispers of doubt were replaced by a quiet hum of determined effort. The once sickly yellow glow of the forest was slowly regaining its vibrant hue, a testament to their relentless efforts. The delicate ecosystem, once on the brink of collapse, was showing subtle signs of recovery, a beacon of hope amidst the oppressive weight of despair. The discovery of the bacteria wasn't simply a scientific breakthrough. It was a symbol of their resilience, a testament to the enduring power of the human spirit to overcome adversity. The collective effort to save their dying world was a powerful metaphor for their ability to mend the broken bonds within their community and forge a new future from the ashes of their past failures. The process of ecological restoration was a painstakingly slow and arduous undertaking, a delicate dance between scientific precision and unwavering patience. It was not a swift victory, but a protracted struggle, a testament to the resilience and ingenuity of the new Eden colonists. The once fractured community, bound together by a shared sense of purpose, worked with a quiet intensity, their collective efforts a powerful counterpoint to the vast, indifferent expanse of space surrounding them. Ilara, her face etched with the lines of exhaustion, but her eyes blazing with renewed determination, led the effort. Her scientific expertise, once a source of contention, was now a beacon of hope, guiding the community's efforts to repair the damaged ecosystem. Her meticulous observations, her careful calculations, were instrumental in ensuring the successful deployment of the bacteria, minimizing disruption to the fragile ecological balance. Ecosystem. Her meticulous observations, her careful calculations, were instrumental in ensuring the successful deployment of the bacteria, minimizing disruption to the fragile ecological balance. Jax, his pragmatic nature tempered by a newfound empathy, oversaw the security operations, ensuring the protection of the delicate bacterial cultures. His security detail, once burdened by internal conflicts, now worked with a shared sense of purpose, their efforts focused on safeguarding the vital resources that held the key to the colony's survival. 
their once strained ranks were unified by the collective desire for redemption. Lena, her boundless ingenuity channeled into the task of ecological restoration, designed and implemented sophisticated deployment systems. Specialized drones, equipped with microscopic injectors, moved silently through the forest, precisely depositing the bacteria into the damaged fungal network. Her intricate creations, a testament to her unwavering commitment, were crucial in ensuring the even distribution of the bacteria, maximizing the chances of successful regeneration. Her skillful hands, once stained with the grime of salvaged technology, now delicately handled the life-giving microorganisms, her efforts a symbol of hope amidst the encroaching despair. Ben, his analytical mind focused on monitoring the ecological changes, developed complex algorithms to track the spread of the bacteria, mapping their interactions with the fungal network, and predicting the long-term consequences of their interventions. His meticulous data analysis, coupled with Ilara's ecological expertise, allowed for the fine-tuning of their approach, minimizing the risks and maximizing the potential for success. His once solitary focus on communication was now supplemented by a deep engagement with the delicate balance of their alien ecosystem. The once sickly yellow glow of the forest slowly began to regain its vibrant hues, a testament to their collective efforts. The bioluminescent fungi, once on the brink of extinction, responded to the bacteria's life-giving properties, their pulsating glow intensifying, a beacon of hope illuminating the path to recovery. The subtle shifts in the ecosystem, once indicators of ecological collapse, now signaled a gradual but undeniable resurgence. The collaborative effort extended beyond the scientific community. The entire colony participated, their collective will a force as powerful as the natural processes they were trying to restore. Children, their faces illuminated by the growing bioluminescence, helped collect data, assisting the scientists in their painstaking efforts. The once fractured community, united by a shared sense of purpose, worked with quiet intensity. Their collective efforts a testament to their resilience and their determination to overcome their challenges. The restoration of the ecosystem wasn't merely an ecological undertaking. It was a spiritual rebirth, a collective healing process that restored the fractured bonds within the community. It was a powerful symbol of their capacity to overcome adversity, to forge unity from division, and to build a better future from the ashes of their past failures. The vibrant glow of the revitalized forest was a testament to their collective strength, a symbol of their enduring hope for a future where their community could thrive, not just survive. A year had passed since their initial, desperate transmission. The bioluminescent forest, once a sickly yellow shadow of its former self, was slowly regaining its vibrant hues. The once fractured community of New Eden, bound together by their shared struggle for survival, worked with a quiet intensity, their collective efforts a powerful testament to the resilience of the human spirit. The air, though still carrying the faint scent of recycled air, now held a subtle undercurrent of hope, a fragile perfume of optimism amidst the lingering anxieties. Ilara, her face etched with the lines of exhaustion, but her eyes blazing with a quiet determination, felt a renewed sense of purpose. The guilt that had once consumed her was slowly being replaced by a cautious optimism. The ecological restoration, though far from complete, was progressing steadily, exceeding even her most optimistic projections. The once withering fungal network was slowly regaining its vitality, its bioluminescent glow intensifying, a silent testament to their unwavering perseverance. The decision to send a second transmission wasn't a desperate plea but a confident declaration, a report of their progress. It was a message not born of fear and desperation, but of unwavering determination and hard-won resilience. It wasn't simply a signal. It was a testament to the indomitable human spirit, a narrative woven from hardship and triumph, a chronicle of their struggle and their eventual resurgence. The preparations were meticulous, the process far more refined, than their initial desperate attempt. The makeshift antenna, once a symbol of their precarious situation, had been upgraded, 
Its components replaced with more robust and efficient technology salvaged and repurposed from the colony's dwindling reserves. The signal, amplified by the revitalized fungal network, promised to be significantly stronger, its reach far greater. Jax, his pragmatic nature tempered by a newfound empathy, oversaw the security operations, ensuring the smooth execution of the transmission. His security detail, once strained by internal conflicts, now worked with a unified purpose, safeguarding the colony's vital communication systems. Their once fractured ranks were now a symbol of unity and shared determination. Lena, her ingenuity undimmed, ensured the smooth operation of the upgraded antenna. Her expert touch fine-tuning the equipment, maximizing its efficiency and range. Her technical prowess, once focused on repairing broken machinery, was now directed towards bridging the vast distances of interstellar space. The hum of the equipment, once a discordant note, was now a symphony of refined technology, reflecting the colony's progress and renewed determination. Ben, his scientific curiosity undeterred, meticulously crafted the message, encoding images of the regenerating ecosystem alongside a detailed report of their progress, a testament to their resilience and adaptability. His meticulous attention to detail, his unwavering commitment to accuracy, ensured that their message would be received with clarity and understanding. His focus, once solely on the technical aspects of communication, had broadened, embracing the artistic and narrative potential of their transmission. Ilara, standing before the upgraded antenna, felt a surge of emotions, pride, relief, hope, and an unshakable determination. The signal they were about to send was not merely a plea for help. It was a declaration, a statement of their survival, their resilience, and their indomitable spirit. It was a testament to the enduring power of the human spirit to overcome even the most daunting of challenges, a beacon of hope illuminating the path to a brighter future. The rhythmic pulse of the antenna, the hum of the equipment, and the collective breath of the assembled team formed a silent symphony, a harmonious blend of hope and determination, reflecting the renewed spirit of a community striving for a better tomorrow. The transmission, when it came, wasn't a desperate cry for help. It was a confident announcement of their survival, a message whispered across the vastness of space, a testament to the indomitable human spirit. Years drifted by, measured not by precise calendars, but by the subtle shifts in the alien landscape, the gradual thickening of the revitalized bioluminous and forest, the slow but steady growth of New Eden. The colony thrived, its once precarious existence transformed into a vibrant tapestry of human ingenuity and ecological harmony. The children, born under the shadow of isolation, now look to the stars with a sense of wonder their future unwritten yet brimming with infinite possibility. The scars of their past struggles remained, etched into the collective memory, but they served as a testament to their resilience, a reminder of their capacity to overcome adversity. The initial silence following their second transmission had been a period of anxious anticipation, a time of quiet waiting that tested the limits of their patience. But the silence, far from crushing their spirits, had fostered a newfound sense of self-reliance and resilience. They had adapted, they had overcome, they had built a new home amidst the alien wonders of Kepler 186. They had become masters of their own destiny, forging a future built on the foundations of unity, ingenuity, and respect for the delicate balance of their alien world. Then one day, a signal arrived. It wasn't the faint whisper of their initial, desperate plea, but a powerful, clear message, bursting through the cosmic silence like a brilliant sunrise. It wasn't a simple acknowledgement of their existence. It was a symphony of data, a cascade of images and information that washed over the colony's receiving station, a torrent of news from a distant world. The message was a testament to the power of perseverance, a symbol of hope against insurmountable odds. It confirmed their survival, expressed admiration for their tenacity and resourcefulness, and promised aid, not simply material assistance, 
but a deep commitment to collaboration and mutual growth. It wasn't just a response to a desperate plea. It was a recognition of their profound achievement, a celebration of their resilience. The news spread through the colony like wildfire, igniting a wave of joyous celebration. Years of isolation, of hardship, of relentless struggle had culminated in this triumphant moment. A connection re-established, a lifeline reconnected, a future secured. The once fractured community, now bound together by a shared history of triumph, erupted in a symphony of laughter, tears, and joyous expressions of relief. The children, their faces radiant with wonder, looked to the skies, their eyes reflecting the brilliant light of distant stars, their futures filled with the promise of boundless possibilities. Ilara, her face etched with years of hardship, but her eyes alight with uncontainable joy, watched the celebrations unfold, a profound sense of accomplishment washing over her. Her efforts, her unwavering commitment, her relentless pursuit of a connection to Earth, had culminated in this moment of triumph. The once crushing weight of guilt and responsibility had been replaced by a profound sense of satisfaction, a quiet sense of pride in the resilience of her community. The regenerating forest, a symbol of their ecological triumph, pulsed with renewed vitality, its bioluminescent glow intensifying, reflecting the joyous celebrations taking place beneath its towering structures. New Eden, once a fragile outpost teetering on the edge of oblivion, had not only survived, but had thrived, becoming a testament to the indomitable human spirit, a beacon of hope amidst the vast, uncharted expanse of the cosmos. The arrival of the message was more than just a technological achievement. It was a testament to the power of human perseverance, a symbol of unity and hope, a triumphant conclusion to a saga of survival, resilience, and the indomitable human spirit. The arrival of the Earth fleet was not a silent descent but a breathtaking spectacle, a symphony of light and sound that echoed across the alien landscape. Sleek, powerful ships, gleaming like polished obsidian under the weak light of Kepler-186, emerged from the inky blackness of space, their approach heralded by a cascade of light and a chorus of crackling energy. The colonists, gathered on the plains beneath the revitalized bioluminescent forest, watched in awestruck silence as the first dropships detached from their motherships, their descent a graceful ballet of precision engineering. The dropships, sleek and efficient, touched down gently on the alien soil, their landing gear a reassuring whisper against the silence. The colonists, their faces etched with a mixture of awe, disbelief, and overwhelming joy, erupted in a wave of cheers and applause their voices a joyous counterpoint to the humming energy of the alien world. The years of isolation, of hardship, of relentless struggle, had culminated in this momentous occasion. A reunion, a homecoming, a celebration of human resilience and ingenuity. The Earth Delegation, a diverse group of scientists, engineers, diplomats, and medical personnel, emerged from the dropships, their faces reflecting a mixture of curiosity, admiration, and respect. Their initial surprise at the sight of a thriving, self-sufficient colony quickly gave way to awe. New Eden was not a desperate outpost clean to survival. It was a vibrant community, a testament to human adaptability and the boundless capacity for hope. The reunion was a poignant blend of emotion, tears, laughter, embraces, and a profound sense of relief. Years of isolation melted away as colonists embraced their rescuers, sharing stories and experiences, forging bonds strengthened by shared hardship and unwavering hope. The Earth delegation, deeply moved by the colonists' resilience and determination, expressed their admiration, acknowledging the extraordinary journey of survival and adaptation. Ilara, once a solitary scientist, Struggling to maintain a fragile outpost, found herself at the center of attention, her scientific expertise and unwavering leadership instrumental in guiding the colony's remarkable transformation. Her story, a testament to human tenacity and the indomitable spirit of exploration, 
became a symbol of hope for humanity's future among the stars. The Earth Delegation, initially tasked with assessing the colony's situation and providing aid, found themselves captivated by the community's unique culture, a blend of human ingenuity and alien inspiration. The colonists, having adapted to the alien environment, had created a sustainable way of life, integrating seamlessly with the planet's unique ecosystem. Their resourcefulness, their collaborative spirit, and their deep respect for the natural world served as an inspiration to their earthly counterparts. The exchange of knowledge, of experience, and of cultural perspectives became a central theme of the first contact. The colonists shared their insights into the alien environment, their understanding of the local flora and fauna, their successful strategies for sustainable living. The Earth delegation, in turn, shared their advanced technology, their medical expertise, and their accumulated knowledge of the universe, offering support that would accelerate the colony's progress and secure its future. Future. The arrival of the Earth fleet marked not an end, but a new beginning, a new chapter in the saga of humanity's expansion among the stars. New Eden, once a remote outpost keen to survival, was now poised to become a beacon of hope a symbol of human resilience, and a testament to the boundless capacity of the human spirit to overcome adversity and forge a new future among the stars. The reunion was more than just a homecoming. It was a celebration of shared humanity, a testament to the enduring power of hope, and a powerful symbol of the infinite possibilities that lie ahead for humanity amidst the boundless expanse of the cosmos. The arrival of the Earth fleet marked not a conclusion, but a vibrant new dawn for New Eden. The once isolated colony, once a fragile outpost keen to survival, was now poised to flourish, its transformation fueled by a potent blend of advanced technology, renewed hope, and a profound sense of shared purpose. The influx of resources, of knowledge, and of human connections sparked an unprecedented era of progress and prosperity. Advanced technology, once a distant dream, became a tangible reality. Sleek, efficient structures replaced the colony's makeshift dwellings, their design seamlessly integrating with the unique architecture of the bioluminescent forest. Hydroponic bays, augmented with advanced growth systems, produced bountiful harvests, eliminating the threat of food scarcity. Medical facilities, equipped with state-of-the-art technology, ensured the health and well-being of the community. Communication systems, far surpassing their initial makeshift devices, connected New Eden to the broader network of human civilization, ending their agonizing isolation. The delicate balance between technological advancement and ecological preservation became a central focus, guiding the colony's development. The lessons learned during their years of isolation, the importance of resourcefulness, of collaboration, and of profound respect for the natural world, were carefully woven into the fabric of their new society. Sustainable practices, integrating seamlessly with the unique characteristics of Kepler 186F's ecosystem, ensured the harmonious coexistence of humans and the alien environment. Ilara, once a solitary scientist battling against the odds, found herself at the forefront of this remarkable transformation. Her scientific expertise, coupled with her deep understanding of the alien environment, became instrumental in guiding the colony's development, ensuring the integration of advanced technologies with sustainable practices. Her leadership, once challenged by internal conflicts, was now universally respected, her unwavering determination a source of inspiration for the entire community. The influx of Earth's diverse population brought with it a wave of new perspectives, new skills, and a renewed sense of purpose. Scientists, engineers, artists, educators, and medical professionals, each bringing their unique talents and expertise, seamlessly integrated into the fabric of New Eden society. The colony's cultural landscape was transformed, becoming a vibrant blend of human traditions and alien inspirations. The children, once burdened by the weight of their isolation, thrived in this new environment, their education enriched by the unique perspectives of both Earth 
and Kepler-186. Their playful explorations of the alien landscape, their vibrant creativity, their profound connection to their new home, became a powerful symbol of hope for humanity's future among the stars. Their laughter echoed through the revitalized forest, a joyful counterpoint to the humming energy of the technological advancements that were transforming their world. The once precarious existence of New Eden was now a testament to human adaptability, a showcase of ecological harmony, and a vibrant symbol of unity and shared purpose. The colony, once struggling on the brink of oblivion, had transformed into a beacon of hope, a shining example of humanity's capacity to not only survive but to thrive, to create a vibrant and sustainable society in the face of extraordinary challenges. Their journey, a saga of survival, resilience, and the indomitable human spirit, had not only secured their future, but had also illuminated a new path for humanity's expansion among the stars. The integration of Earth's advanced technology with New Eden's sustainable practices wasn't just a technological triumph. It was a profound statement about humanity's potential for harmonious coexistence with diverse environments, a testament to the boundless capacity for cooperation and mutual growth. Decades spun into a blur, measured not by precise calendars, but by the subtle yet profound transformations that reshaped New Eden. The once fragile colony, clinging precariously to existence, had blossomed into a thriving metropolis, a vibrant testament to human resilience and adaptability. Towering structures, seamlessly integrated with the alien landscape, rose amidst the pulsating bioluminescent forest, their sleek designs a fusion of advanced technology and organic aesthetics. The children, born under the shadow of isolation, now roamed the lush landscapes, their laughter echoing through the revitalized forest, their faces radiant with a sense of wonder and boundless possibility. The story of Kepler 186 F, once a desperate struggle for survival, had become a legend, a tale whispered across the stars, a testament to human ingenuity and the indomitable spirit of exploration. Ilara Vance, her face etched with the lines of time, but her eyes still blazing with unwavering determination, became a revered elder statesman, her wisdom and experience guiding the colony's continued growth and prosperity. Her legacy extended beyond the scientific realm. She had become a symbol of inspiration, a living embodiment of the indomitable human spirit. The integration of Earth's advanced technology with the unique characteristics of Kepler 186F's ecosystem had transformed the colony into a model of sustainable living. The once dwindling resources were now abundant, thanks to efficient energy systems that harnessed the power of the bioluminescent fungi and advanced agricultural techniques that ensured bountiful harvests. The colony's unique blend of human ingenuity and alien inspiration became a beacon of hope for humanity's expansion among the stars. The once fractured community, forged in the crucible of isolation and adversity, had become a powerful force for unity and collaboration. The lessons learned during their years of hardship, the importance of resourcefulness, of empathy, of respect for the natural world, were woven into the fabric of their society, shaping a culture built on cooperation, mutual respect, and a profound appreciation for the delicate balance of life. The children, raised on the stories of their ancestors' struggles and triumphs, now look to the stars with a sense of wonder and boundless optimism. Their education, a blend of Earth's accumulated knowledge and the unique insights gained from their alien environment, fostered creativity, innovation, and a profound understanding of the interconnectedness of all life. Their playful explorations of the alien landscape were a testament to their deep connection to their home, a symbol of their capacity for adaptation and growth. The vibrant culture of New Eden, a unique blend of human traditions and alien inspirations, became a source of fascination and inspiration for the broader human civilization. Artists, musicians, writers, and storytellers flocked to Kepler 186F drawing inspiration from the unique beauty and complexity of their alien world. The colony, once a desperate outpost on the edge of oblivion, 
had blossomed into a vibrant center of cultural innovation, a testament to the power of human creativity and the boundless potential of human imagination. Ilara, often found sitting beneath the towering bioluminescent fungi, watching the younger generations explore the wonders of their new home, felt a profound sense of peace and fulfillment. The gaze would often drift to the stars, towards the distant earth, acknowledging the unbroken link between two worlds, bound together by a shared heritage and a shared destiny. Her life's work, once a desperate gamble, had culminated in a remarkable triumph, the creation of a thriving community, a testament to the resilience of the human spirit and the enduring power of hope. The legacy of New Eden wasn't simply a story of survival. It was a beacon illuminating the path for humanity's future among the stars, a narrative woven from hardship and triumph, a testament to the infinite potential of the human spirit to adapt, to overcome, and to build a brighter future amidst the wonders of the cosmos. The final chapter of New Eden's saga wasn't a conclusion, but a continuation, a subtle shift from one era to another, a gentle transition from a story of survival to a narrative of boundless possibilities. The setting sun cast long, dramatic shadows across the revitalized bioluminescent forest, painting the landscape in hues of vibrant crimson and deep violet. The towering fungal structures, their caps glowing with an ethereal light, stood as silent sentinels, guarding the thriving metropolis that had risen amidst their alien grandeur. The air, fragrant with the sweet aroma of the alien flora and the subtle scent of recycled air, held the sense of tranquility, a quiet contentment that permeated every aspect of life in New Eden. The once precarious colony, once struggling on the brink of oblivion, had transformed into a thriving metropolis, a testament to human ingenuity and the enduring power of hope. Children, their laughter echoing through the forest, played amidst the towering fungal structures, their faces radiant with joy and wonder. Their games, a blend of earthly traditions and alien inspirations, were a testament to their deep connection to their unique environment, their uninhibited creativity, a symbol of their boundless potential. They were the inheritors of a legacy, the embodiment of a future built on the foundations of resilience, ingenuity, and a profound respect for the natural world. Elara Vance, her face now deeply etched with the passage of time, sat on a moss-covered outcrop, her gaze fixed on the horizon. Her eyes, though clouded with age, still held a spark of unwavering determination a quiet reflection of her unwavering belief in humanity's future among the stars. The years had taken their toll, but her spirit remained unbroken, but legacy indelibly etched into the fabric of New Eden. She had witnessed the darkest hours of their isolation, the crushing weight of despair, the agonizing struggle for survival. But she had also witnessed the remarkable resurgence, the triumph of the human spirit, the birth of a thriving community forged from hardship and hope. Her gaze drifted to the distant stars, a silent acknowledgement of the vastness of space and the infinite possibilities that lay beyond their world. New Eden, once a forgotten outpost on the edge of the galaxy, had become a beacon of hope, a testament to humanity's capacity to adapt, to overcome, and to thrive in the face of unimaginable challenges. The journey had been arduous, the struggle relentless, but the reward immeasurable. The colony was not merely a human settlement on an alien world. It was a vibrant ecosystem, a harmonious blend of human ingenuity and alien wonder, a testament to the enduring power of human resilience and the boundless potential of human collaboration. The final image lingered, a panoramic view of New Eden at sunset. The bioluminescent forest, pulsing with renewed vitality, glowed with a vibrant tapestry of colors, reflecting the vibrant life that thrived beneath its towering structures. Children played, their laughter echoing across the plains, their joyful energy a testament to their vibrant future. And in the distance, silhouetted against the vibrant sky, stood Ilara, her gaze fixed on the stars, a silent guardian of a new dawn. The scene wasn't a full stop, but an ellipsis, a continuation of the story, 
a symbol of the endless possibilities that lay ahead, a silent promise of humanity's ongoing journey among the stars. The legacy of New Eden wasn't merely a tale of survival. It was a testament to the boundless capacity of the human spirit to adapt, to overcome, and to build a brighter future amidst the wonders of the cosmos. It was a story of hope, of resilience, and of the infinite potential that lies within humanity's grasp as we venture forth into the vast, uncharted reaches of the universe.